इट वॉज द इयर ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड थ्री द टर्क जनरल बख्तियार खिलजी हैड रीच द गेट्स ऑफ नदिया द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ द हिंदू सेना डायनेस्टी खिलजी हैड ऑलरेडी बर्न एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड सेवरल ऑफ द एंशियंट बुद्धिस मोनेस्ट्रीज इन द मगध रीजन इंक्लूडिंग द फेमस नालंदा यूनिवर्सिटी उदांतापुर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड विक्रमशिला यूनिवर्सिटी आफ्टर बर्निंग दिस ग्रेट बुद्धिस सेंटर्स ऑफ लर्निंग द टर्किश जनरल मूव टूवर्ड्स द हार्ट लैंड ऑफ बेंगाल एट दैट टाइम बेंगाल वॉज रूल्ड बाई अ वीक एंड ओल्ड किंग नेम्ड लक्ष्मण सेना ऑफ सेना डायनेस्टी द किंग वॉज इन हिज नाइंटीज खिल जी एंड इज कैवलरी एंटर द कैपिटल डिस्काइज एज हॉस ट्रेडर्स वंस इन साइड द सिटी दे चार्ज स्ट्रेट टूअर्ड्स द किंग्स पैलेस ओवरवेम्ड विद दिस सडन अटैक द किंग फ्लैट थ्रू द बैक डोर इन टू द फॉरेस्टेड एरियाज ऑफ ईस्ट बंगाल नाउ खिल जी वॉज द रूल ऑफ द लास्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग होल्ड ऑफ बुद्धिज्म इन इंडिया This started the long process of Islamization of Bengal which took more than 5 centuries to convert Buddhist Eastern Bengal into what will finally emerge as the Islamic Bangladesh but can we give all the credit for Islamization of Bengal to Bakhtiar Khilji or the later Islamic invaders let's also explore what was the significance of Bengal in Buddhism at the time of Buddha Bengal was not a distinct unified geographical area rather It was home to several small janpats like Banga, Radha, Suhma and Pundra. Since the 4th century BC, the entire region came under the rule of different Magadha empires, including the Nanda Empire, Maurya Empire and Gupta Empire. It is believed that Buddhism entered Bengal during the time of Buddha himself due to its proximity with Magadha, the historic place where Buddha preached extensively for over 45 years. The Dhamma took deep roots in Bengal during the rule of Emperor Ashoka of the Maurya dynasty. Bengal got its first unified identity during the period of Gora dynasty of the 7th century. King Shashank not only unified the different regions of Bengal but also conquered the Magadha region from the later Gupta dynasty. The center of power in eastern India shifted from Pataliputra to Bengal. Bengal now also controlled several important centers of buddhism including bodh gaya rajgrih and nalanda which increased the significance of bengal for buddhists across asia as they were the new patrons of the buddhist holy sites this brahmanical dynasty was soon replaced by kharaga dynasty of the mid 7th and early 8th centuries which was the first buddhist dynasty to rule an independent bengal this was followed by the pala rule in bengal between the 8th to 12th centuries during the pala dynasty buddhism was the predominant religion in the northeastern india it was the mahayan and tantric form of buddhism that was prevalent in bengal at this period the pala kings were devoted to buddhism and they built several large monasteries and centers for buddhist learnings 20 kings ruled the kingdom for over 400 years The Pala era was the golden period of Buddhism in Bengal. The Pala kings built about 50 Buddhist monasteries and universities including Vikramshila, Odantapuri and Somapura Mahavihar. Somapura Mahavihar situated in Nagaon in Bangladesh was one of the most prominent monasteries of ancient India. It was built by King Dharmpal and it had 177 rooms for the residents to live, study and practice the religious life most viharas of the period were built in the shape of a mandala bikrampur vihar was another great monastery built during the pala period it was built at the place where the great master atisa was born during the time of atisa this region was the center of buddhist education and some 8000 students and professors came to study at bikrampur monastery from as far as china tibet and nepal The ancient monastery was rediscovered in 2013. Bengal also gave some of the most prominent Buddhist teachers. Shil Bhadra from the Samatata area of Bangladesh contributed to Yogachar and was also the abbot of the Nalanda University during the 7th century. Acharya Shantarakshita was born in royal family of Gora near present-day Dhaka. He was the first monk who together with Padmasambhav or Guru Rinpoche established 
द फर्स्ट मोनेस्ट्री इन तिबेत कॉल्ड द सामी मोनेस्ट्री ही इज कंसिडर्ड द मेन टीचर ऑफ द न्यू मालीन एज अति साधी पांकर श्री ज्ञान वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट बुद्धिस्ट रिलीजियस लीडर्स एंड वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइन हंड्रेड एटी टू एडी इन विक्रमपुर नियर प्रेजेंटेड हाका ही इज नोन फॉर हिज वर्क कैरी डॉट एट विक्रमशिला उदांतापुरी एंड सोमापुरा महाविहार वेर ही सर्व एज चांसलर ही प्लेड अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन द स्प्रेड ऑफ महायान एंड वज्रान बुद्धिज्म फ्रॉम तिबेत टू सुमात्रा इन द एलेवेंथ सेंचुरी तिलोपा बॉर्न इन चिटगोंग एंड नरोपा born in a bengali brahmin family were mahasiddhas and are regarded as pioneers of the tantric tradition of buddhism pala rule came to an end during the 12th century with the death of its last king rampal bengal was ruled by sena dynasty till the early 13th century when it was invaded by bakhtiyar khilji which led to the beginning of islamic rule in bengal in eastern bengal which roughly corresponds to modern day bangladesh Buddhism was the dominant force for several centuries and it remained the last stronghold of Buddhism in India till the end of 12th century the conversion of Buddhist Bengal into Islam was so complete that after 500 years of Khilji's invasion it had the highest concentration of Muslim population in India what makes the case of East Bengal unique is that unlike Punjab and Sindh regions of the unified western India which also had high percentage of muslim population which was surrounded by islamic persia and afghanistan east bengal was like an islamic island surrounded by predominantly hindu and buddhist population from all sides